nice of you to drop in. Hello people, I am the Real Comic Book Gamer, and it was announced by DC themselves that the New 52 is ending. Uh, now, this is sort of true-ish. Um, what this means is on your cover where it says the New 52, that's just going to go away, which we already thought was going to happen because how long can the New 52 be new? So, yeah, that's pretty much all this means. They're adding a bunch of new books, but everything's going to be the same. Uh, like, a lot of series are still continuing, and nothing's really, like, nothing's going back pre-New 52. Uh, we are getting the pre-New 52 stuff for what's called, uh, Convergence, though. But Dan DiDio, uh, who's a big guy at DC, said, In this new era of storytelling, story will trump the continuity as we continue to empower creators to tell the best stories in the industry. So, continuity seems to be more of, like, a, a blurred line right now. Well, that's what they're sort of working to. Which I'm not too big of a fan of because I like having like things in continuity and then things that are completely out of continuity. I like having that. Um, I get the fact that you know the whole purpose of the new 52 was hey, we've got tons upon tons of years of continuity. This way, you don't have to know all of that stuff. Um, so we're gonna reboot everything from one, and then everything got even got really confusing because a lot of writers would just disregard stuff that other writers did. Green Arrow, for example, Jeff Lemire did an amazing job on it. Well, the new creative team with uh, Andrew Kreisberg and some other guy, Andrew Kreisberg's one of the writers for Arrow. He came on and pretty much just did not acknowledge anything that happened on Green Arrow. So even more stuff is confusing. He has other villains, and this happened with a lot of other books, and you have other things that happen that just make stuff even more confusing. Um, but I don't really care about that. I'm fine with confusing continuity. When I first got into comics, all I did was just go and buy back issues, and I would just jump in the middle of a story arc, and it would make no sense to me. But I still liked reading comics. It was still fun. Uh, so I don't, I don't really care about, you know, continuity being confusing. I don't think too many other people to, uh, are either. All you need to know is this is canon, this isn't. Like, other things... That's, that's the whole purpose of the issue that's like when you see... Go back and read issue 51 where this happened, that whole thing. But there is still, you know, confusing stuff and I can understand. But I like having continuity and non-continuity. I don't like that they're blurring the lines now. Not a big fan of that. But the big thing that for me was as soon as I saw this, you're like, well, here's the books that are continuing for the new 52. I went and looked straight for Deathstroke and Deathstroke is still continuing. So I'm really happy about that because... Uh, I could not take it if Destro got cancelled again, especially because this series has been really good. Um, one thing I am disappointed with, though, is Grayson is continuing. Not because it's bad. Grayson is good. It's a good series. But I was hoping it would be changed to Nightwing. I was hoping that after conversions, people would, like, something would happen where no one would remember that Dick Grayson is Nightwing. And Dick Grayson could be, uh, come back to be Nightwing. Grayson is a good book. It's a good, solid book. It's nothing, like, amazing, but it's good. And I was, I was hoping that would change to Nightwing because I want him to be Nightwing again. Uh, which will probably happen, but not for like another year or two. Now, we uh, the continuing series. Well, first I'll read all the new series. We got Batman Beyond with Dan Jurgens. We got Batmite, which is a six-issue limited series. Bizarro, which is another six-issue limited series. Black Canary, Constantine the Hellblazer, Cyborg, which Cyborg isn't too surprising because you know Cyborg got his own movie announced, and that's when everyone was like, "What are they gonna base the story off of?" Because Cyborg has not had a solo comic, uh, so now they might draw a little bit of inspiration from the comic. Uh, Dark Universe, Green Lantern, Lost Army, which I am excited about because Colin Bunn is writing it. Colin Bunn has done some amazing stuff with Deadpool and so has done some really cool stuff with Marvel. So I'm excited to see what he does with Green Lantern and Lost Army. Then we have Doomed by Scott Lobdell. <laughs> he, I, I don't know why DC keeps Scott Lobdell. Like, he's done some alright things with Red Hood and the Outlaws, but he's a terrible Superman writer. Uh, now we have Earth 2 Society, Dr. Fate, which is pretty cool. A lot of people are happy about Dr. Fate getting his own book, which, you know, Dr. Fate's pretty cool. We got Harley Quinn and Power Girl, a six-issue limited series, which could be good because uh, I actually have read some of the Harley Quinn's uh, issues, and they're eh, with Power Girl. They were actually pretty funny. She, they're kind of like it, Harley Quinn's sort of like DC's Deadpool, just not as good. Uh, then you have Justice League of America, Justice League 3001, Martian Manhunter, Midnighter. Interesting, Midnighter's getting his own book. You know, he's he's been uh, he was a big player in uh, the first story arc of Grayson, Mystic U, Omega Man. Uh, Prez, Red Hood, and Slash Arsenal, which I like. 
I, I like to see uh, Red Heart and Arsenal doing that because Starfire has a lot. There's a lot of controversy surrounding Starfire and New 52. I didn't really care for New 52 Starfire. I like pre-New 52 Starfire. New 52 Starfire, eh. Um, but Red Hood and Arsenal teaming up sounds really cool. And I hope that's a good book. Then we have Robin, Son of Batman. Then Section 8, which is a six-issue limited series. Starfire. And they're trying to make Starfire more fun, it seems. Um, at least from the cover. But that's not even by the artist that's going to be the artist on the actual book. But it seems like they're trying to make her more fun, which I like. And we have We Are Robin, which... Who knows? That could be good. And the ongoing titles are Action Comics, Aquaman, Batgirl, Batman, Detective Comics, Batman, Superman, Catwoman, Deathstroke, The Flash, Gotham Academy, Gotham by Midnight, Grayson, Green Arrow, Green Lantern, Harley Quinn, Justice League, Justice League United, Lobo, Secret Six, Sinestro, New Suicide Squad, Superman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Teen Titans, and Wonder Woman. So, yeah, a lot of, like, pretty much everything's continuing. There's, yeah. <laughs> Not too many of these series get me excited. I'm excited for Batman Beyond by uh, Dan Jurgens. Dan Jurgens can be really good or he can be really bad. There's there's not too much of a middle with Dan Jurgens, but he he is the guy behind Death of Superman. So hopefully Batman Beyond's good. And like I said, Green Lantern Lost Army has me really intrigued with the fact that Colin Bunn is writing. So I'm excited for that. And hopefully DC did the right thing here. I'm hoping we get more stories like uh, the Batman Earth one and Superman Earth one because those are some pretty cool stories and I like to see more of those just out of continuity uh, graphic novels because it's nice instead of having to read one issue a month you get the whole graphic novel and it's out of continuity so they're able to take risks with certain things so that's pretty cool and I like to see more of those but yeah let me know in the comments below what do you guys think of this also I have a new outro it's got my twitter handle and everything on it with new music uh, please let me know in the comments below what do you guys think of the new outro and if you enjoyed this video please give it a like Sorry for the way I've been working Ella hard time spent with friends is now time spent writing bars So I lock myself away until I'm sad and just like yay I'm shutting off and so I'm dancing